hello everyone welcome to my channel in today's video we will learn how to calculate solar string distribution using a basic yet essential string calculation sheet if you are into solar design or working on solar project this tutorial is for you let's get started so in part 1 we understand the module data sheet first let's look at the module data sheet value these are the foundation for any string calculation First is module wattage, watt peak which is 585 watt, open circuit voltage VOC 51.55 volt, short circuit current ISC 14.4 ampere, maximum power point voltage VMP 42.79 volt, maximum power point current IMP which is 13.68 ampere. These parameters help us decide how many modules can be connected in series and parallel? In part 2, we can see that temperature coefficients. Temperature impacts panel performance. So we use these coefficients to adjust value based on site conditions, which is mentioned in data sheet, which is alpha ISC, which is minus 0.003, beta VOC, again its value, then gamma Pmax. These are used in voltage, cor voltage correction formulas for high and low ambient temperatures. In part 3, we can see that inverter data, which we can see in data sheet. Next, let's check inverter specifications which are critical to string sizing. Inverter power. Now we have considered 125 kilowatt of inverter, which is a grow watt. So I am not here doing any marketing for grow at maximum input voltage 1100 volt minimum input voltage 195 volts MPPT range which is 180 volt to 1000 volt maximum current per MPPT 32 ampere short circuit current per MPPT 40 ampere MPPT available here it is 10 2 inputs per MPPT means 20 inputs total. We must ensure our PVRA fits well within this limit. Part 4. Now we are doing actual calculation on temperature best voltage calculation. Let's calculate voltage changes due to temperature. Vmax in low temperature. Here we are doing using formula Vmax is equals to VOC into 1 plus beta into T mean minus TSTC standard test condition now we will execute the calculation 51.55 into 1 plus in bracket we are going to put our temperature coefficient which is minus 0 0.0024 into 5 is the minimum temperature here we are going to consider and 25 is the standard test condition as per data sheet so we get the value of 54 volts we mean V mean in high temperature. V mean is equals to VMP into 1 plus beta into T max minus T STC. Here we are going to put VMP value which is 42.79 into 1 plus in bracket minus 0 0.0024 into 50 minus 25. So here we get the answer of 40 volts. This ensure we never go beyond inverter limits due to temperature changes. In part 5, we can see that series string limit. So now how many modules can be connected in series? So maximum modules in series. Here we are taking 1100 divided by 54 which is 18 and minimum modules in series 195 divided by 40 is equals to 4. So we can safely connect 4 to 18 modules in series depending on the de design. For parallel string, for parallel strings, current is the key factor. Maximum strings per MPPT. So our maximum current is 40 ampere divided by 14.4 ampere is equals to 2.78 means rounded down to 2. So you can connect two strings in parallel per MPPT inputs. Part 7 Final Thoughts Keep in mind, these are the basic calculations. The actual input voltage selection 
often change depending on the installer why because investor want to save system that last while apc player may prefer designs that reduce cost as system designer it's our job to strike the right balance and build system that not only perform but survive for at least 25 years now i want to tell you that if you want to download this string calculation sheet feel free to ping me on linkedin with the message string calculation and i will share it with you directly if you found this tutorial helpful please hit the like button share it with your team and don't forget to forget to subscribe for more such simple and practical solar design tips also drop a comment below and let me know which technical topic you would like to learn next i promise to explain it in most simple and understandable way keep learning keep growing and let's build solar system that shine bright for decades thanks for watching signing off dinesh wag